up. I thought you were going to fly to heaven. Madam, what thing happened now? Wait, the hell out for me like that. Sure, you say make I stop, I stop now. Why when I was begging you to, 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 to slow down? Yeah. Did, you, did you listen to me? Why didn't you slow down? Eh? You were running as if you were going to fly to heaven. And I'm Maybe they have sent you to go and kill me. I, I hear you. If you make me more angry now, eh? I will not give you this money. Because of the stress you have given me. Give me my money. Let me come to this one. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. This is why I can't look for this Lagos. You can't be a witch. Now you can't be a witch. Now I'm a small one, sir. Your mother is a witch. No problem. Your grandmother is a witch. I wish you this, sir. Your wife is a witch. Back to sender. Your sisters are witches. No problem. Your daughters are witches. All your children are witches. Your sisters are witches. Okay, don't worry. Foolish man. Only 209, they had it. They have sent you to go and kill you. I agree. I don't go. You know, you know Lagos. I don't go. You will not succeed. I'm more here, Mulan. Take your money. Yeah, now you start business. Come on, give me my bag. Ah, they come. Give me my bag. Foolish man. I agree. Give me my bag. Yeah. Ah. Just do something, something. Now this one, chop my feet. They said, tell them that you did it. I don't see you, Pujar. Bye bye, you. Is my son not yet back from work? No, it's not yet time for his return. Uh, is everything all right? Uh, yes. 
Why did you ask? No, it's just that I... I anyway. I'm very hungry. Yeah. Can you get me something to eat? Of course, Mama. Come to the dining side and serve your food. Yay! Yeah.
Wake up. Okay. So you are back? Yes. I call myself. But Mama, why, why are you lying down here? When did you arrive? My son. I came here since morning. Ago. Shh. And since that time I've been lying down here. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Why? Is my wife not at home? Ask her. <laughs> Doris! 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 Telling you back. Welcome. Why didn't you take Mama to the guest room? And why did you have to starve her all day? What's me? Yeah. Is that not so? Did you care about me? Did you? Did you ask me anything? Did you do anything for me? Honey, it's not true. It's not true. I gave Mama food in the morning when she came and she refused. I offered to take her to the guest room and settle her there. She, she refused and said I should leave her alone. She later called me in the afternoon and said she was hungry. I should get something for her to eat. I got it and she ate it. Is it not only that once? Is it not me that asked you to give me food? Did you care? I had to beg for food in my son's house. Oh, wait, well, you're not the one that asked you to give me food. I wait, had to beg for food in my son's house. Wait. Stop pretending. Your breakfast is ready. I made fried yam and stew for you with some eggs. I hope you like it. Is that why you woke me up this morning? Don't you ever think about anything else apart from fried stew, fried latte. I fried the uh, chicken. I fried the turkey. I fried the stew. Fry, 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 fry. Did your mother tell you teach you how to make babies? Huh? Please, it's too early for all these insults, please. If I insult you, what will you do? What will you do? Mama, when you are ready to eat, your food is already served on your dining. Hey! Come back here! Come back here! Say. Come back here! How dare you walk out of me? Look, huh? Mama, what, what is the matter? What's going on here? Don't ask me. Don't ask me! Your wife came this morning! So rudely and arrogantly tell me that if you want to eat, your food is at the table now. Hey. Ah, Mama, shut your mouth up. But show no. What you want to do? That was exactly what I complained yesterday. You, you didn't say anything. Enough, Mama. Enough of all these lies. Eh? Hey! You get it? Me, your mother lying. Mama, I heard everything you told her. And I heard what she said to you. Hey! I was standing right here. How? She has totally confused you. She has confused you that you no longer think about anything else apart from her. But you have forgotten that men of your age who have married for the past four years have children all over the place. Male, female, boys and girls, here and there, plenty to show that they are potent. Enough, Mama! Enough! Look, if all you have come to do in this house this weekend is to cause trouble and problems and Confusion as usual, then you have to leave. Eh? You can't go. You are asking me to go? Yes. Stop it, I said if you have come to cause problem in this house, then you have to go. Go to the house I provided for you and your neck. Stop and it. Stay there. Stop it. You can't go. Don't worry. I will go. Oh? Mama, Mama, I will go. Can't leave like this. Listen, Doris. Just keep her talking to this. What do you think you're doing? She would, she would think I. I, I... I said stay. You get to go. I am going. Oh, I will no longer stay with cast people. You people are cast. I am not ready to stay in the house of important and bad people. I'm going. Just like this. Cast people. Uh -huh. Hey. What is 
wrong? Why are you looking like this? Don't ask me, Biko. Don't ask me. Your brother and his wife asked me to go. What? They didn't even give me one second to change my clothes. I am going like this. They say I should leave your house. I am going. But I have asked you to leave. He asked me to leave. Nothing on earth will make me come back to this house. Mama, wait now. Mama, wait. What the hell? Mama out of your house this morning. Are you out of your mind? What's the matter with you? Do you think you can just bust into this house and start heckling me without even saying hello? Well, I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't like the way I saw Mama outside, especially in her nightwear. I mean, it wasn't just good enough. What isn't good enough? What's not good enough? You think you can just come in here and start judging without listening to the other side of the story? You and I know who Mama is. I just can't keep tolerating her coming into this house to create confusion between my wife and I. Every now and then. In the name of not having a child. I simply asked her to leave. If she wouldn't let us be. And she chose to leave. It was a decision. I'm sorry. It's just that you should be used to Mama's character by now. Look, we have to do something about Mama's attitude. It's getting out of hand. What can we do, huh? What can we do? Ah, Greg! Hey! Ah, good to see you. And you too. You look so good. Thank you very much. All right, love. Bye, brother. Look at you. What happened? Well, you're right to touch me special because mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Mama, are they God that gives children? No, tell me! Are they God that gives children? Mama, when will you understand they are not God that gives understand children? Understand what? Understand what? That ticket who has been married for the past four years and his wife has not been able to give him one child. Huh? Huh? What am I even saying? What about you? Have you been able to give your own husband a child? Have you? Tell me. Mama, even me. Yes? You have been married for the five, past five years. Have you been able to give your husband one child? Look at you. You and your brother. You have been married and nothing to show for your marriage. Nothing! And you say, I shouldn't be bothered. I am bothered! God. What kind of children? I bring it to this world. Tina What kind of children? Look, at your age, you and your brother, I already have two children. Yet you are the kid. You don't have anything to show for your marriage. Nothing! Not even one. Sure. Not even one. And you are not even bothered. Am I even talking about uh, Mega? She's not even bothered. Yet she has not been able to get married. And it doesn't bother her. And you think I am not worried. If you are not bothered, I am worried. I am a woman. A mother for that matter. I know how I feel. I am worried. That is why I'm shouting to the world to hear my voice. Ha! Ah. God. Mama, thank you very much. I don't believe you. Go if you want to go. Go and leave me alone. You people should leave me. I want to have my rest. Let me rest! You people are cursed! I am not cursed. And I am sure I did not curse any of you. I did not. How? How? Oh, my children! 
can do is fried chicken, fried turkey, do party. Expensive life! Swa! I'm gonna go Whenever you visit your mother, you will stop going there. And that's final. Harry! How dare you stop her from visiting our own mother? But mama, whenever she goes there, all she comes back with is trouble. We will have our own children. At God's time. Why don't you all just let us be? and children who don't care about me. Allow me to greet you properly, Mama. Are you okay? Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Where are you coming from? Ah, Mama, where else? I went to see Chinedu. Chinedu? You went to see Chinedu? That same Chinedu that you go to see and come back every night. Mika, are you sure he will marry you? Mama, eh? Mama, how many times do you want us to talk about this? Ah, at least we've been here to see you together. And you know that he has proposed to me. Mm. Mama, I love him and he loves me too. Me How will we get married? Bechi, Paolo, I love, he love, love me, love you. Look, what I'm telling you is that if you know that this boy will not marry you, better leave him now and look for somebody else who will marry you. You are not getting younger. You are almost 26 years old. Mama, please give me a break. Give me a break for goodness sake. Why do you keep nagging and troubling everybody always? If Chinedu does not marry me, Mama, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Please just let me be. I will not. Oh. I won't. Then in that case, when I, I said, shut up! Shut your mouth up! Look, at your age, I was already married with a son! How can I let you rest? Then, you, then, then why don't you go and look for the emergency husband you think you, you, you have? Bring one husband and force me to marry him now. Bring one husband for me. Okay. If you want emergency husband, Neka, I will give you emergency husband. Very soon, I will bring the majesty husband. Because 
love, 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 love. I love him, you love me. Yeah, I love you. Is that what I'm going to eat? If I talk this, I'm trouble, sir. I must complain, though. Things are going upside down. Things are not going to let you enter. I don't know. Are you welcome? 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 Are so where is my sister? Uh, she went out. She went out with her husband. But she'll be back very soon. Yeah. Here she is. Ah, Mika! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. You do good. Thank you. And you too, you look good. <laughs> So, Mama, how are you? I'm alright. Yeah. Are you? Mama, I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> did you enjoy yourself? Mama, I did. <laughs> so, baby girl, what's up with you? I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> Don't let me disturb you, girl, so, eh? Excuse me. Right. But tell you, make sure she's comfortable. <laughs> and that in her very well. Mama, I will. Okay. <laughs> now, what for you? Eh? You don't even come here to, to check on me once in a while. Why? Sister, don't be angry. I've been so busy lately. Work, church. I hardly have time for myself these days. So tell me, how, um, how is your fiancé? He's fine. You know what? He's taking me to see his parents tomorrow. And then get married. Are you serious? <laughs> God, I'm so happy for I'm you. I'm so happy too. <laughs> so, um, how is Mama? That woman wants to kill me. She just wants to frustrate and make me useless. I don't even understand. Is it only you? I don't know what is wrong with that woman. I don't know. Okay, for instance, look at my mother. She is the one that is supposed to be giving me hate in this house because I am yet to be, give her her son a child. But she is not. It is now my own mother that is giving me problems. Why? Sometimes I I think that woman has some sort of spirit. Something, I think, something is disturbing her. Something is troubling her. Then that spirit should leave her. Before. It should leave her. Because I am not going to take that rubbish from her. I am not. Why would she be behaving like that? I just... That she makes me sick. Ah, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Children. Ah. Don't talk like this about your mother. Look. No matter what she might have done to any of you, She's still your mother. All you need to do is to pray. Pray for her. Mama, thank you very much. Do you know, I was even thinking, I think I need to take her to see a pastor. Pa! Pa what? Nega. You want to contradict matter? Don't take her to any pastor. All you need to do is to pray for her. And I believe you. She, believe me, she will change. She will change. I just hope so, Mama. I hope so. She's my friend. I will talk to her. You do the pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray hard. She will change. Okay? Okay, Mama. Good. And then, ah, ah. Look at your face. Smile. When you smile, you're always beautiful. Okay? And then, how is your fiance? He's fine. And then, his parents? Oh, they are fine. <laughs> He's even taking me to see his parents in preparation for our wedding tomorrow. <laughs> yes. You are lucky. <laughs> ah, no drinks, no food. Hey, Mama, I'll still give her that. <laughs> Pray for her. She's such a nice one.
way it is, sir. Honestly. Hold on, my son. Vicky! Victoria! Yes, darling? Please come. My ears alone cannot hear this. Hello? What is it? Please, repeat what you just told me. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. It's nothing to worry about now. It's because of the girl your son intends to marry. Madam, I'm sorry to say this, but it's just a fact. She doesn't have a decent character. She's a well-known prostitute. What? A prostitute, man. Above all, she's a perpetual abortionist. I happen to work in the hospital where she carries out this evil act on a regular basis, man. And my conscience would not allow me to just sit and watch your son's life ruined. That's why I said I have to tell the family. This is strange. Very, very strange. Then I have seen this girl we are talking about. This description does not suit her. What nonsense are you talking about? What other proof do you want to ask for? I have nothing to gain, nor to lose. If your son marries the girl in question, or if he doesn't marry her. But it's just that I know your family descent background for a long time. And it will be scandalous for you to get associated with such a flat. As a daughter-in-law. And moreover, we all attend the same church. What more of a help can I be to a Christian brother than to warn him against an impending calamity? I've just freed my conscience, man. Sir, I am going to take my Christian. No, 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 no. No, please. See, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Girls, of these days, you can never tell. Especially when they see a boy from a well to do background. I really appreciate. Thank you, sir. Um, please, um, you use this for your transport. Don't do this, sir. Don't do this. I can't collect this. Uh, I can't take it. And I wouldn't want you to feel at the back of your mind that my coming here to give you this useful information is because I'm hungry. Of course not, sir. I'm not hungry, sir. It's because of my conscience. I wouldn't be at peace if I allow your family to get in trap. So, sir, I beg of you just for one thing. Make sure you investigate this matter properly. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the information. Thank you, madam. Vicky, did you just hear what he said? There's more to this. There's more to this than meets the eyes. I don't trust this boy. What nonsense are you talking about? Vicky, God has just used somebody to open up our eyes about the realities of life and you're here talking rubbish. Eh? Are you telling me you believe a total stranger? That what's here to just say what he doesn't know? I mean... I don't blame you. Your own in this house is all about sitting down here, starting left, starting right. 
That is all yours. My son, you are welcome. Yes, sir. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Dad, mom. Oh, uh, she's called. Mom! Oh, darling. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Princess. How are you? Fine, thank you. I've always told you you're a beautiful girl, haven't I? Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. Please see that. All right. Mommy, Dad. This is the lady I told you about that I want to get married to. This is nice. You know what? It's a perfect match. Thank you. Um, that's good, that's good. Uh, but, young lady, where are you from? Um, I'm from Obako, in Enugu State, sir. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. that's a... Chief Cosmos. Yes. Yes. So, all um, of your parents, are they in Lagos? Uh, yes, um, my mother stays here in Lagos. And your father? He's late. Sorry about that. She mm -hmm. told me you live with your mother. Is it true? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> Dad. Now that uh, both of you are planning to get married, I hope you do stay together, do things together. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, which means you, you have known her. And if you have known her, I hope she is pregnant now. Are, are you pregnant? No, sir. Christians and we don't indulge in all that. Uh, my principle is that whoever my son will get married to must be pregnant for the marriage. Because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are put to death. Uh, you roam about the street trying to destroy homes. You all are gold diggers. Embarrassing me, Embarrassing. Hey, hey. You need to stop that. Listen. You have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes, and that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman too. I cannot bear the risk. I cannot stand it anymore. The all of them are prostitutes. They are prostitutes. Yes. Look at them. Going in the back trying to, trying to see the home they will, they, they, they will destroy. What? Let her go. Dad. If she's pregnant, you marry her. If she's not, no marriage. Ah, can you imagine? All the prostitutes all around the state. All of all. Everywhere in the streets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please wait. Let's talk this oh, Shinedu, there's Please. nothing to talk about. Listen. Your dad has been asleep. No, this is just... Why don't you just leave me alone? Nikki, this is just my dad. This is not me. Come on, why don't you just listen to me, Nikki? Shinedu, leave me alone for Christ's sake. Just leave me alone. How can you say that in the presence of that girl? You just embarrass her son. It is the same thing. The fact is that I have told her the truth and the choice is hers. If she has not killed all the children in her womb, what stops her from being pregnant for him? What? I understand what you're saying. I understand. All the same, she's not asserting her presence. Dad, what is the meaning of all this rubbish? I mean, what is the meaning of all this rubbish? I brought my fiancé to introduce to both of you. You embarrassed and humiliated me. What, what is all this? Hey, Dad, that she did. She did do. Make use of your senses. Things are changing these days. The only way you can run away from embarrassment of childlessness is to be sure that your wife is pregnant before you get married to her. That's all. That is barbaric. It is ungodly and it's nonsense. You know I will never be part of it. Hey, you are not ready to marry that girl. Let me ask you one question. How do you know a woman that is fruitful? Letting her be pregnant two, three months into pregnancy, you go ahead with the marriage. That is nonsense. 
and I will never be part of it. You know it. I love Nikki so much. I love her and you know I will never do such a thing with her. I believe with God when we get married she will bear me children. You don't just believe it. But you know it. I can't. You can't. Then be ready for battle with me. I don't understand you. I don't understand the dimension you're taking this whole thing. You're taking it too far. Huh? Were you not here when the other man came to put up with this guy? How can you believe in him? How can you be acting on what they say? Do you know that man? How can you trust him? He might just be on a revenge mission. You don't know. This kills me. before you fall sick. I warned you, but you didn't listen. Didn't I warn you? I told you that boy is not going to marry you. You refused. You were going with him. Up and down, up and down. Go, 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 go. Coming back at night. Now you have seen it. Hope you forget. Well, you don't even care about how I feel. You are even causing me more pain. What kind of a mother are you? I am a mother that wants the best for her children. I want the best for my children. Look, I was not pregnant for any man before I got married. And I will never support you to be married for any man. Not when I'm alive. No one, no one there to answer me. I called you, been avoiding my calls and all that. What is happening? Why are you acting this way? How am I acting, Chinidu? Tell me, how am I acting? Look, you should have told me what your parents decided instead of allowing me go there to face such humiliations and embarrassment. Come on, don't talk like this. Don't talk like this. Do you know I, I was embarrassed and humiliated by my father too? I was equally angry with him. For God's sake, I, I told them that I would never be part of it. But my father threatened to disown me if I went ahead to marry you when I'm getting pregnant. I, I don't know who is feeding him. I don't know. They are giving him some wrong information about you. Why are we still talking about it? Isn't it obvious that they don't want me? They haven't said so. Come to think of it, Neki. Why didn't you, I mean, why didn't you just get pregnant? I mean, for our sake. Get pregnant. Chinedu, where is your Christian faith? So just the mere threat by your father, you suddenly give up your Christian faith, just like that? I'm disappointed. It's not like that, Nekki. I'm disappointed. Come on, I, I, I want you to just do this for our sake, so that we can move on with our lives. We both know that I love you so much. But for me to give up my Christian faith, and get pregnant out of wedlock. No, I won't. And if you truly say you love me, then this should not bring a problem between us.
now that uh, both of you are planning to get married, I hope you do stay together, do things together. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, which means you, you have known her. And if you have known her, I hope she is pregnant now. Uh, are you pregnant? <laughs> Indulge in all that. Uh, my principle is that whoever my son will get married to must be pregnant. <laughs> because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are prostitutes. Tell us. You roam about the street trying to destroy homes. You all are gold diggers. You're embarrassing me, Tyler. Embarrassing? Hey, hey. She needs to stop that. Mm -hmm. Listen. You have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes. And that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman too. I cannot bear the risk. I cannot stand it anymore. They all of them are prostitutes. They are prostitutes. Yes. Look at them going about trying to trying to see the home they will they, they, they will destroy. Welcome to my house. Ah! My mother has fine. Thank God, my dear. Thank God you think you are at home. Hey, no. Just wipe your tears. God has answered your prayers. God has given you a real man to marry you. Mr. Godin. Omenazo. Mama, mama. Godin, this is my daughter, Neb. The one I've been telling you about. I can see. Is she not a fine girl? <laughs> Mama! Mama, short stand up. Stand up! I'll go with you. Mama! I'll go. Take her.
and God is the real man. Why can't you respect and greet him like a well trained girl? Show the word that I trained you well. Now you see you are doing here. I want that one. Mom. Don't mind her. Okay. Good day. Good day. Money talks. <laughs> okay. You see, I love you. I love you. Look, enough of all that rubbish. Look, get out of my house now before I do something to you. I am warning you. Get out of my house before I do something to you. Okay. Okay. That's it. It is not a matter of fight, but I think we can rob, rob. That's a rob by my ticket. Rob my ticket, guys. Get out of this place now. Megan, get out of here. I will kill you. I will kill somebody. My mom is in the middle of us. Not in the middle of this. Okay, I'll get that. Got it. Got it now. Got it. What's going on? What's this? Come now, are you going? Come. Mama, what is all this nonsense? Be what is all this? Please don't be angry. I'm waiting. Just Mama, not because of you. Please. Ah. Please, just give me a little more time. Just a little more time. She's my daughter. My last daughter for that matter. She has no choice. Yeah? Just be praying on your own side. Everything will be alright. Madam, I, I, honestly, I now understand. This is, this is, uh, uh, listen, I don't like receiving insult, insult from small, small girls. Don't bless us, don't imagine small, uh, 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 small girl cutting me. For what? Instead of her to be grateful to God that she, she, she sees a man that wants to marry her. Oh. She can do shakala. For what? Ah! Mama, now because now you. Hey. Ah. Just do it because of me, Oma. Please, I'm begging you. She's behaving like that because I quarreled with her this morning before I left house. Eh? Go. Go down. Oh? Mama, one more. I, I, I ask more. No, be, no be the way to, to talk to strangers. Strangers, strangers, if you be angels. Huh? Not today the same uh, spare parcel. I have my money, my money. Hey, the mum come, mum come. Ah, it's not, it's not even because of the money. But that you have accepted to come and marry her gives me joy. Oh, you go, cool down. It's my enemies, oh. They are at work again. That is how they've been behaving to me. That hmm. girl. If you know how many men have come to marry her, she has refused. And now you have come again. It will work. Oh, just <laughs> cool down for me. Mama, okay. Cool down, eh? Cool down. Mama, let it be. Uh -huh. Thank be you. Well. Mama. Strangers can be angels as you talk. <laughs> Maybe you are the angel. Mama, no problem. <laughs> okay. Mama, I will see you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mama. I'll come and see you in your shop. Okay, ma. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. This is not right. Why would Mama bring in a man that you should marry him? Why? Honestly, sister, I was surprised and disappointed. I think there is more to this than meets the eyes. Mama's trouble is just becoming so unbearable. Listen, I think there is something wrong with Mama. There is something wrong with her. Look, have you told Brother Ike? No, I haven't. Look at I suggest we meet with Brother Ike so that we'll discuss about uh, this Mama's issue. Because it's really getting out of hand. Why would Mama be giving people problems everywhere? Why? I wonder. Every minute of the day is always Mama, Mama, Mama. Why? What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? What I don't know. That's a very good idea. I think we should see what I like. That is what we will do. It's stressing and stressing and stressing. Ah. Like a means a lot to me. And I cannot afford to lose her just because of your selfish demand for pregnancy. Did I hear you say selfish? I am not being selfish, my, my son. It's for your own good and for the future of this family. You have to be sure that she can be able to give you a child before you marry her. And that will save you, your name and the future of this family, to continue from generation to generation. God determines the future of every generation. Our destiny is in His hands. Yes. But He has given you the opportunity to plan and decide how you live your life yourself. And I have planned to live with the Lekka for the rest of my life. I forbid. God, why are you why are you spoiling it? Well, I forbid you to marry her. 
except she is pregnant for you. Mom, say something. Say something, Mom. Just, you know, you're keeping quiet as if both of you plan this whole thing together. She did it too. What do you want me to say? What haven't I said to your father? He will not listen to me. He's adamant. What do you want me to do? Well, come to think of it. How did you meet her again? She's my church member. Are you very sure? Yes, a true member. Do you know if she's had any quarrel with anybody? I mean, so much so that the person wants to truncate her future. No, none that I know of. Well, Chinedu, you're my son. I don't have anything against that girl, personally. But please, for the sake of peace and the continuous beauty of this family, Chinedu, look for another woman. No! No, Mama! Do you know what it means to love? Do you? I will marry a nigga, whether pregnant or not. Now, listen. Listen, Chinedu. Don't be a fool. I have a love fact about that girl. If you make mistake of your life and marry her, then count yourself out. That's okay, my baby. Nedu, can you tell you? Let him let him go. He has no choice. But tell you, why, 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 why are you behaving like this? Why are you being a dumbass on this issue? Woman, I have taken my decision on this matter, and that's final. You are pushing that boy. And he might just do something rash. And I won't like it. What kind of world have I come into Pico? Ikechuku has been married for the past four years now. And his wife has not been able to give him a child. Shimo. God. What kind of children do I have, Pico? What kind of children do I have? Oh. Is there nobody in this house? God. Who is that coming? Ah, it's me, oh. Good afternoon. What are you doing in my house? Ah. What have you come to do? Go away. Go away! Mama Ruchi. Are we no more in laws? Hmm. Ah. God. Mama Ruchi, why do you find it so difficult to let go? You see. All things have passed away. All things have become new now. Nothing can ever be new with you. So leave my house! Go away. With you, all things will never pass away. I know you. Well, I overheard you talking to yourself. <laughs> I hope everything is well with you. It is you that is talking to yourself. All can never be well with somebody like you. So go away. Leave me alone! The dance of the spirit is known to the spirit. You know the tune you are dancing to. I don't know. Leave my house. We can never be friends. Forget the fact that my daughter went ahead and married, married your son. We can never, never be friends. So. And you know it. She was only stupid. She refused to listen to me. Nothing would have brought two of us together. Nothing. So leave my house. Leave. Well, Mama Ruchi, I've only come to advise you. Hmm. Yes. I want you to please take it easy on your children. It is only God Almighty that gives children. And He gives at His own time. Your daughter Neka, God will give her her own husband to me. Go away! Nothing can ever be do with you! Nothing can ever! Go away and leave me alone! What do I owe this? This is you. Eh? How did she find herself into this house again? Oh God. My enemy is so... She has only come to laugh at me. My children will never listen to me. Oh God. Oh God. That, I think that is your only regret. 
sir. I can assure you she's perfectly okay. And by the special grace of God, she will create a new time. No. I said no. No pregnancy, no marriage. Dad. You encouraging me to, to, to commit fornication? A Christian? A knight? God. The other time I brought in a girl here, you said no because she's not an evil girl. I drove her away. Dad, I drove her away. Right now I brought in an evil girl. And you're saying no just because she's not pregnant. That must I kill myself just to please you. Relax, my son. Relax. There's no need for you to get worked up. You are still a small child. Eh? But let me tell you. If I decide to act on the information I have about that girl, you will not mention her name in this house. But no. I understand we all have our past. But sometimes, the scars that I want to protect against. But let's see if that girl is still capable of giving you children in future. But let her take in first. Period. No doubt. No. I am a born again Christian. And my scripture forbids it that I sleep with a woman before marriage. Period. So I decided to use the one upstairs. She came and sent me out that she wants to take her bath there. What kind of what kind of a thing is this? What happened to the bathroom in her bedroom? Huh? What sort of what sort of trouble is this? Uh, no, you're back. Mama, why did you use the bathroom in your room? Instead of going upstairs to inconvenience my wife? Oh, I don't like all this trouble. What don't you like? Huh? How can you resist me to? 
This is my son's house. Your house, he gets food. I am free to use any bathroom I like. Sleep anywhere I like. Eat anywhere I like. This is your house. Oh, you people are planning to send me out of this house again. <laughs> your plans will not work. Your plans will not work. I will not give you. I have made that mistake before. I will not repeat it. One or two. I will stay in one place and die. Also. My dear sisters. Mama's recent embarrassing attitude is beginning to give me cause for concern. She's getting worse every day. I think the issue of your wife not being able to have a child yet and also sister Ochi is probably what is making her go insane and ask the way she's doing now. <laughs> she is not insane. She is just a witch. She is a witch! Look at it. The place I went to seek for help the other day, they told me that Mama was the cause of all our troubles and misfortunes. You call me a witch? Yes. Who are going to make our Witch. And Mama, please tell us now. Confirm it. Are you not a witch? Eh? Are you not the person that is the cause of all our troubles? Is it not you? Tell us! So, I am now the witch that is causing me trouble. <laughs> more, more of But let me tell you, Mama, you will not succeed. Your plans have failed. Ah, so, why are you talking to Mama like that? Why would I talk to her like that? Why would I talk to her like that? Eh? <laughs> this is the height of it. I am going to leave Lagos for the day. Now, I will pack my things from here. I will also go to the house of Rita from here and make her. I will pack my things, leave Lagos for you people, go back to the village and practice my witchcraft well, well there. Mm -hmm. Leave you here in peace. Oluchi, what is the matter with you? Why do you have to talk to my mom like that? Even if you know that she, she, she look, I'm disappointed at you. Go! Go! Leave us alone! Go! Go! Mama, please now. Mama, please leave me, leave me now. Hey, Mama. Both of you are here. She's calling me a witch. I am going back to the village. But let me warn you. None of you should dare come to me. Let me go back to the village and practice my witchcraft. Go! Leave us alone! Go! Leave you keep quiet there? What is the matter with you? Brother, let me tell you. Let's leave Mama to go back to the village. Let her leave us alone! If anybody wants to see her, the person should go to the village and see her! Ah! Uh -huh. What about she, she, she just here giving us heat? Okay, look at my mother-in-law. Look at how she's just tampering me here and there. Mama is here giving us heat. She should go to the village. Will you shut up this minute? Are you satisfied now? Are you happy? I'm satisfied. 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 There are women who do not have any children. Yet they are alive, but they are giving well. What is the use in having so many children who do not care about your welfare? God knows I have tried. What have I not done? I have children. It shows that they are all useless and irresponsible. They don't care about, about a mother who means well to them. Oh God, I have tried. You are my witness. I married a husband for my daughter, Nega. She nearly broke my head for it. I told the kid to marry another wife. He asked me what is wrong with the man he is married and calling his wife. I told her, Luchi. She is not insane. She is just a witch. She is a witch. Look at it. The place I went to seek for help the other day, they told me that Mama was the cause of all our troubles and misfortunes. You call me a witch? Yes. Mama would make her also. Witch. Mama, please tell us now. Confirm it. 
Are you not a witch? Eh? Are you not the person that is the cause of all our troubles? Is it not you? Tell us! So, I am now the witch that is causing me trouble. <laughs> more, more of But let me tell you, Mama, you will not succeed. Your plans have failed. Ah, so, Luchi, why are you talking to Mama like that? Why are you talking to her like that? Why would I talk to her like that? Eh? This is the height of it. I am going to leave Lagos for the people. Now, I will pack my things from here. I will also go to the house of Rebecca from here. I will pack my things, leave Lagos for the people, go back to the village and practice my witchcraft well, well there. Okay. Leave you here in peace. Oh, Luchi, what is the matter with you? Why do you have to talk to my mom like that? Even if you know that she... she, she look, I'm disappointed at you. Go! Go! Leave us alone! Go! Go! Mama, please now. Mama, please. Leave me alone. Leave me now. Hey, Mama. Both of you are here. She's calling me a witch. Mama, take it easy. I am going back to the village. But let me warn you. None of you should dare come to me. Let me go back to the village and practice my witchcraft. Go! Leave us alone! Go! I'm going to you keep quiet there. Eh? What is the matter with you? Brother, let me tell you. Let's leave Mama to go back to the village. Let her leave us alone. If anybody wants to see her, the person should go to the village and see her. Ah? Uh -huh. What about she, she, she just said, giving us heat. Okay, look at my mother-in-law. Look at how she just tapping me here and there. Mama is here, giving us heat. She should go to the village. Will you shut up this minute? Are you satisfied? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Child, start by stealing a coat. I have tried. There are women who do not have children. Yet they are alive, but they are living well. What is the use in having so many children who do not care about your welfare? Eh? God knows I have tried. What have I not done? Eh? I have children. It's just that they are all useless and irresponsible. They don't care about, about a mother who means well to them. Oh God, I have tried. You are my witness. I married a husband for my daughter, Nega. She nearly broke my head for it. Eh? I told the kid to marry another wife. He asked me what is wrong with the man he is married and calling his wife. I told Aluchi to go and check herself up and know what is find out what is wrong with her. <laughs> she calls me a witch. God in heaven, I have tried. You are my witness. I will not kill myself for my children. Don't allow your parents to ruin your life and your future. If you truly love this girl, then go ahead and marry her. Except you are not very sure of yourself. Uh, I mean, why, why are you talking like this? I mean, you know how much I love Nikki. Eh? Nikki means the world to me. Uh, it's just that I, I don't understand the reason why my father is trying to frustrate then me. Then go ahead and marry her. Forget about this church wedding stuff. You can go to the courts. Just arrange for a man and a woman and call them your parents. It's only when you begin to go for all this church wedding and that they demand for, I mean, when you begin to go for all this church wedding that they demand for traditional rights. Listen, I have seen a lot of guys whose parents have ruined their life because of this marriage stuff. Don't marry Edo, don't marry Ibu, marry Aosa, marry Yoruba. Man, forget it. Forget it. I wanted to tell you that I will. Yeah. Chile do! As long as you have chosen to disobey me, you will cease to live in this house. Do you hear me? Do you have a buy house? Shut up and tell me. Are you mad? You have only eight hours to pack out of this house. Else, you will be ejected from this house. Then you, you can do that to me. We just need a contract. Why are you doing this to me? Huh? 
Daddy, no, you can't just do this to me, Daddy. You can't do this to me. We can't do this to me. I'm not doing this to me. So, Daddy, Daddy, I'm going to protect you this thing over here. No way. Again, Dad. No way. Daddy, I'm going to protect you this thing over here. No way. Daddy, I'm going to protect you what he has chosen from the moment he wedded that girl. Well, this has come beyond my imagination. How would I let you treat your son as if he's your worst enemy? How would my son buy enough, enough woman? Your son has no respect for me and he disregarded me. And I beg to rest this case. And if you discuss it again, I will not hesitate to treat you in like manner. Got a place, um, a two bedroom flat. Eh? Yeah, thank God, thank God. At least the poor man will rest now. Eh? So, how is your husband now? What did he do? He's fine. He's not doing badly at all. Mm. You know, he just got a new job and the pay is not bad at all. Mm. And you know, I'm still working with my old place of work. Mm. And you know, ever yeah. since his father refused him from working with him, he had to look for another job, another means of survival. Hey, God. Can you imagine? Eh? So fathers can be very terrible. I cannot believe a man like that would treat his son like that. For what? Sister, now so we see him. Hey. And the scary thing now is, Chini Duke does not even want to see his father. Mm -hmm. Or even hear anything from him. No, 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 no. That one is very bad, okay? And you have to try everything possible to condone him to see his father. Sister, I'm trying. Please try and encourage him. Try more. Trying. Mm. So how is Mama? I've not had time to see her. When did you see her last? Well, I don't know. Mama is still there in the village with her troubles and her palaver and everything. The last time brother I went there to see her, she refused to see him unless I come there to uh, apologize to her. And you know that I will not do it. No, sister. Sister, why don't you go and see Mama now? Why don't you just go and at least talk to her, settle with her? After she's still her mother. For what? Eh? Stop once. Wait, wait, Neka, you started again, Biko. You started. How, why, for what will I, why will I go there to apologize to her? For what? Eh? Leave her to stay there with her troubles and her palaver. After all, things are changing now. Is it not after she left that your husband now decided to get married to you? No, tell me now, is it not? Please just leave Mama to stay there with her trouble. I don't want her to come here and put more fire into, into my house. I beg, Biko. Can you imagine that Mama did not even attend my wedding? Me, the baby of the house. Oh! And you're here siding, Mama. What would I do? What would I do? Okay, now. What I can do? My dear, go and sit down. Go and sit down. I don't want you to stretch. You don't want me to help me. Help what? Eh? I'm sorry, Daddy. Strange things. Send her hand. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. You don't know who is who. I want you to know that I am worried about you. I've spoken to your father. He's still very adamant. Mom, you don't need to be worried about me. As you can see, me and my wife, we are just fine. We're just fine. I've learned the lessons of my life. 
I have come to realize that it is wrong for a man to be completely dependent on his father's world. It deprives you of your struggle and responsibility as an individual. Even your freedom is jeopardized. As you can see right now, I am okay I'm on my own. I don't like it that way. <sighs> well, my son, I want you to know that if you need anything, I'll be there for you. Just call on me. I truly want to be independent, Mom. Chinedu, why are you talking like this? Does it mean that I cannot help when it's necessary or come to see you when I want to see you? Of course not. require a little more patience. With time you are going to have children. Hmm? Doctor, it's been over. Alright, I understand. No problem. And you, make sure you keep up with our medical checkups, okay? Both of you. Everything is going to be alright. Hmm? I can 
appreciate it. God bless you. Bye bye. Whoever my son will get married to must be pregnant for the marriage. Because I don't want to stand the risk of what you young girls do outside. I don't trust you people. You people are put to chaos. You roam about the street trying to destroy homes. You all are gold niggas. Embarrassing me, Hey, hey, children, to stop that. Listen, you have to be sure that the lady you want to marry can be able to bear children for you. Yes, and that will guarantee that she is fruitful. And that will guarantee to me that she is a fruitful woman too. I said no. No pregnancy, no marriage. Dad, you encouraging me to, to, to commit fornication? A Christian? A knight? God, the other time I brought in a girl here, you said no because she's not an evil girl. I drove her away. Dad, I drove her away. Right now I brought in an evil girl. And you're saying no just because she's not pregnant. That must I kill myself just to please you. Ever since we came back from the hospital some days back, your attitude towards me has changed. I still don't understand. Okay, um, probably it's because I've not been able to get pregnant. That's why you're so troubled. Then get pregnant so that I'll be fine. Honey, why are you talking like this? Don't you care about how I feel too? No. no. Maybe we feel the same. Maybe we feel the same or I feel worse. We've been together for two good years. The doctor said there is nothing wrong with both of us. So what is wrong? What is wrong? Maybe you should ask God that question. Honey. No, I'm asking you. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? Huh? Have you been an abortionist? Yes, my father said so. That is why he refused me to marry you. Is there a ghost in your family? I want to know. Or why is it that your sister has not been able to give birth to a child after five years of marriage? Even your brother and his wife. What is wrong, I repeat? What is wrong with your family? Not you, Chief. Honey, what's, what's, what's the problem? Jesus Christ. What is wrong? And something is wrong with the family. Something is wrong with the family. Listen, there is nothing wrong with my family. Maybe it's your own family. I'll tell you. 
I should have listened to my father. You hit me. God, I should have listened to my father, my mom. Now look at me. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you alright? Uh, Mama, it's just uh, my little fever. I'll be alright. Ah. Have you seen the doctor? Mm -hmm. Not yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fine. It's just small sickness. No, no sickness. No sickness is small. You must see the doctor. I don't want anything to happen to you. <laughs> okay? Right. Maybe I'll, I'll go to the hospital by tomorrow. Uh -huh. I hear you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, Mama, how was the occasion? Hey, all of you, you missed. Mm. Hey, I enjoyed myself. <laughs> I wish you went with me. <laughs> Maybe some other time. Mm. Mm. What about your husband? Uh, he's okay. He just uh, stepped out. He said he wanted to see a friend in the kitchen. Mm. Mm. Don't forget to see the doctor. Okay. Mm. Just follow me. I want to take you to a place where they will open your home so that you start having children. You will become happy. Come on, come, follow me. Follow me. You open your mouth to call me a witch. How did you come to this church? A friend of mine, Jane Asoku, brought me in. Mm. A very strong member of our church. Mm. 
Holy Spirit of God, speak to me concerning that one. The Spirit of God just told me as a terrible darkness, darkness round about you. But don't be scared. Because the house of God is a mighty tower. Whoever runs in is safe. You believe that? Pastor, I believe. I believe, Pastor. That was then. But through thick and thin, trials, temptations, you fail. You've been going here and there to the extent that you let down before a fetish priest. <laughs> I will deposit the Bible to you. Isaiah, Isaiah 49, take it off from 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with you, and I will save thy children. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the word of God. My God is saying that he will contend with those that are contending with you. Amen. God says he's going to pick you up again from your captive point and take you up again. Amen. You are going to pray. The Spirit of God says we are going to go on three weeks dry fasting. And throughout this, nobody must know. Not even your husband. Do it between you and God alone. Speak to him. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Beg for forgiveness. And let God take over your battle. Because the Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness therein. There are some passages here. While you pray, you read. You read, you pray. And God will deliver you. Get to get to us. Hey, leave me. Leave me. Leave me. That's what you people want. That's why my children sent me to the village to come here and die. Leave me. Let me die here. Mama, you are going to die. Please get to Leave me. She's fine. She's okay. Honey, why don't you bring her back from the village? She's been there for a year now. Look, Mama is fine and well taken care of. But she chose to remain in the village. And so let her be there. I don't want any troubles from her. Please. <laughs> Hello. 
Stay with us here for the meantime, okay? Sweetheart. Please arrange the guest room for her. And take all these things in. It's the awesome. world we're living in. Strange things are happening. You don't know who is who. The one you call your own. End up to be Hi. your enemy. We are constantly surrounded by all kinds of people who pretend to love us. If the reason you came here is to compel me to marry that girl you introduced me to, forget it. I am not ready for that. Harry, when are you going to be ready? You keep giving me the same answer that you are not ready, you are not ready. When are you going to be ready? Look, it's over two months you sent that devil girl packing out of this house. So when are you going to settle no, that? No, I did not send Oluchi away simply because I want to bring in another woman. So what do you want to do? I sent her away because she became something else after she started that church. And because she insulted you in my presence. Thank you. Oluchi is still my wife. And I could bring her in anytime I want to. Impossible! It's a lie! It can never happen! That girl will never stop my feet into this ground! Yeah! She's not coming back to this house again! Listen to me! Look! That girl insulted me! I am your mother! She insulted me! She called me a witch! Mama! I am telling you she's still coming back to this house! Mama! I am not a child anymore! I am an adult! I am your mother! I am an adult! I am telling you what to do! Yes! And you do it! Result of the test, mm. you're six weeks pregnant. Mm. Eh? That's it. 
Doctor, are you serious? No, that's it. You're six weeks pregnant. Doctor, me? <laughs> now I'm six weeks pregnant, that's me? That's it. Hey, hey, God. Hey, Doctor. Hey, thank you, Jesus. But, thank you, but Jesus. But you have to take it easy. Don't stress up yourself. Just take it easy, okay? Okay, okay. okay. All right. Thank you, it's thank okay. you. Ah! Oh, no. I have told you, and that is final. Please, brother, let me tell him. No, 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 you're not going to tell him anything because he does not care about you. He sent you packing two months ago and up till now, he does not bother to know whether you are alive or you are dead. So forget him. But brother, you know... No, no, no buts here. As far as I'm concerned, Harry is a heartless brute. And when the time comes, I'll give him a piece of my mind. But Oluchi, if you ask me, I think what I just said is very correct. But Oluchi, mm -hmm. how did you do it? How did you manage? What? Please, look, I am not making anything hard, Mr. Hart. It's crystal clear that you are heartless. No, no. You sent my sister packing for the past four months and you never cared to know whether she's still alive or dead. And you think you can just walk in here and pick her up because you feel like? No way. Look, Oluchi is not a commodity. She's a human being with feelings and she has people like me. Please, please. I am deeply sorry. It's just that I... I realize my mistakes. Please, I want her back. Please, please, I'm begging you. So, suddenly want her back? Because she's pregnant? Giving that potential job. Hi. Alicia, will you go back to your room? I said, go back to your room. Would you go back to your room now? Move it! Look, Mr. Harry, I think it's time to go. This is the way out. to ask for your forgiveness from everything I've done to you or said to you. Please, Mama, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to forgive you? Yeah, Aluchi. <laughs> Aluchi, where will I start to forgive you? You open your mouth to call me your mother a witch. And you want me to forgive you? Just tell me where to start. Please, go back to Lagos and leave me alone. Go back! Pico, go. I'm a witch. Please. I don't want a kid. I don't want any more. Even if you have one million children now, they are all for you. I don't want. Leave me alone. Go. Go and leave me. I am at peace here. Go. Leave me. Mama, please don't make it hard. Please 
please, Mama. You know, we never supported Oluchi for what she did. You didn't support her? What did you do when she called me a witch? Since you didn't support her. Mama, I scolded her right in your presence. You scolded her? Yes. And it just ended like that. You scolded her? Nothing more. And you had to send me to the village. Mama. I don't want you to go. You know, I never wanted you to come back to the village. Eh? Please, Mama. You were the one who insisted. Eh? I still insist. I want to stay here. Mama, please forgive us all. And come back to Lagos. Me, come back to Lagos. <laughs> please come back to Lagos. I don't want to come back to Lagos. Oh? You get to go. I don't want to come back to Lagos. I am comfortable here. This is where all the witches in this country have their meeting. Huh? And we have our peace here. So leave us and go. Mama, go! Please, please, Mama. Okay. If you people won't leave, I will leave this place for you. Mama. Huh? Mama. Mama. Mama, please. Mama, please no. You can hold me, hold this place. Forgive us. I will leave everything for you. I am a witch. You open your mouth, only to go find me a witch. Thank you very much. I am going to be the witch. Mama, no, 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 I'm not enjoying it. No, no, no. Look at yourself. How can you be going to the kitchen to cook? At what age? Harry, Mama. when are you going to change your mind and marry the girl I introduced to you? When? Mama, that girl has never crossed my mind. The only person I think of is Oluchi. Who? My wife, Oluchi, she's pregnant. Who is pregnant? Oluchi. How? When? Ah, it's not true. I saw her yesterday at a brother's place, but they won't let me come close to her. This is not true. It's not possible. Ah, no, she can't be pregnant. And uh, they will not let you talk to her. Mm -hmm. Eh, forget her. Mm -hmm. Eh, forget her! How are you so sure that pregnancy? You are responsible for it. I beg your pardon, Mama. I thought the only reason why you wanted me to marry the other girl is because only she couldn't get pregnant. Now she's pregnant and you are saying otherwise. What's your problem, Mama? You want to know my problem? I will tell you my problem. Since that girl opened her big mouth and called me name, since she called me a witch, she will never, never be my daughter anymore. Whatever you think, Mama. Only she is my wife, and I'm bringing her back into this house. Oh! Nothing anybody can do about it. No, you will not. Of course I will. Hey! Ah! Don't try me, oh. Hey! Don't try me, oh!
Uh, so, <laughs> Mama, why did you have to take the risk of coming out in the night? Did anything happen on the way? My son, our boss spoiled on the way. And that's why. Oh, I thought as much. Sorry about it. How are you? I'm fine. Please sit down. How about you? She's fine. She's, I'm sure she has gone to bed. Should I call her? No, don't wake her. Let her sleep. Eh? Oh my God, I'm so tired. Let me go and take my bath. <laughs> I'm sure you need something. Do I prepare something yes. for you to eat? Ah, no, no, nah, don't worry yourself. Eh? I'll eat tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a nice oh, good, night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Baby's kicking at two months old. A two month old baby will kick. Yeah, but he ought to have started kicking now. Who is he? He says she. No, 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 no. He has to be kicking. He says she. Please. Uh, Alright. All right. And Let's... two month old babies don't kick. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever sex is. Oh, oh, I'll God. accept it oh, gladly. Okay. You have better accept it because I'm the one kind of baby and I determine the sex of the baby. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just do the two. Uh, 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 communication with the baby, man. Oh, Jesus. Please move your head. <laughs>
nothing will happen to your baby. Eh? Just continue to plead the blood of Jesus. Oh. Yes, why? Please help me call my sister Mega. Tell her to call my pastor. She has already gone to do that. Eh? The pastor is on his way. Uh, Sorry, Madam. You'll be alright. Please, Sorry, eh? please help me call my husband. Ike has called him. He's on his way. Hey. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Madam. Sorry. Oh, You'll be yeah. alright. Um, I'm afraid not. Honestly, I I really can't figure out exactly what is wrong with her. You see, we've done all the medical tests and we still can't come up with anything, but she's very strong. And healthy. No, no, how can you talk like that? You can see she's not. But you see, that is the mystery that I'm dealing with now. I understand she's your sister. Yes, she's my immediate younger sister. Uh, what about her husband? Ike, Ike, where is my wife? I ask him, ask him. Doctor. What is wrong with my wife? I want to see my wife. What is wrong with her? Well, um, we still can't come up with anything yet, but she's hale and hearty, very strong. She can be strong and, and remain there. Right. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Doctor, please, where can I leave myself? Oh, the toilet is right over there. Doctor, tell me, what exactly is wrong with my wife? I want to know. Well, you see, the truth is, your wife is under a spiritual attack. Spiritual? Spiritual attack? That's my personal opinion. <laughs> my wife under spiritual attack? <laughs> Mama? Mama? I just came back from the village. How can you visit them? I, I was so distraught. I said, let me come and see you. I went to the house and your uh, man told me that the other child is very sick and I didn't want to cross her. Where is she? But, Mama, what's going on? Is this not the woman that went in? You can't. You can't tell me your mother was into me. It's nothing like that.
of a wife in her. Mama, look, Oluchi is the best girl I've ever met. And I want to marry her. Harry, there are so many girls outside. Forget Oluchi and take one of them. Mama, why are you being so difficult? She's the best girl for me. And I thought you and her mother used to attend the same August meeting together and that you were friends. That was then! was then that woman has overstepped her bounds I shall become my rather in the meeting so anything anything concerning her I don't even want her to 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 go close to her forget her daughter forget her mama because you are in enmity with someone doesn't make that person my enemy I love that girl you are my mother and you said you love me I thought you said you love me let me marry the girl I love. If you love me, you will do exactly what I ask you to do. 
I've made up my mind. Okay. I'm not changing it. Alright. Jesus Christ. Hey. When the dawn of it, I could not stop me from my love. I decided to make a marriage. Mother, why? For the why? I decided to make all this trouble. Naturally, when you now told me that she is pregnant, I decided to carry a mother's face. Hey! I wore a mother's face. But why are you begging me? I should have allowed you to come into this house it's not because of the respect I have for my mom. I am not your son. You rejected me a long time ago, so don't ever call me your son. <clears throat> My son, I know how you feel. Whatever you tell me now, you are right. But I want you to understand one thing. I only play the role of a father. I acted on the information I had concerning your wife. And now, I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, my son. You want me to come back home? You want me to come back home because the woman you thought I cannot be pregnant is finally pregnant. That's why you want me back. No. I want you back because I have realized I made a mistake. Please, forgive me. My son. Let bygone be bygone. Please. Hey, stay out of this. Stay out of this. Jeanette, what is wrong with you? Your father is begging you. Please. Mommy, why, why are you begging me? I was rejected and humiliated by a man who calls himself my father. The world In the course of struggle, I have learned to be wise. I am independent now and I like it. I don't need both of you to move out of my life. So please leave my house. You don't know so who who is who. The one you call your own. Jeanette, do you want me to come back home? 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 Kinds of people who pretend to love us, who pretend to care, but their hearts who is evil, even the ones we call out. Oh God, my wife has given birth to you, but I've seen baby girl. Yeah! Huh? What? Honey, what's Where? It? Where? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Honey, what is it? What's the problem? My dad. Honey. Mm -hmm. Just take care of the baby, okay? What are you going to do? My dad just called me right now. I've got to see him, okay? Just take care of him.
to you. I still need you back. All I have, I've given them back to you, which you need. You're still my father. Why are you talking like this? Mm. I miss your wife. Oh, she's fine, Daddy. She put to bed this morning. The bouncing baby boy. Yeah? Yeah. Miss Paul, she called me, where is she? She just left here. And she will be back. Then, then, then let me let me call the doctor. I will tell you. Don't bother yourself about the doctor. I just want to know if you have forgiven me. And I'll be very glad to know that you have forgiven me. Yes, Dad. I've forgiven you. Uh, you're still my father. At least you stood your ground. I stood my own. Thank God. We now have a child. Pass a baby boy. But, my son. My children, I hope you will learn a lot from my mistakes. And I. You don't have to. Jump into conclusion if you hear anything. I want you to investigate before jumping into conclusion. Do you hear me? Dad, do you need to see my son? A cute boy. He looks like me. The world we're living in Strange things are happening You don't know who is who. 